What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I like to recommend you books in fun ways. Today I am taking the feature from TikTok where it gives you three random emojis and I will be recommending books based on that. This is a trend that's been going around book talk so I decided why not bring it to my channel. If you like TikTok I have a whole series where I recommend books based on TikToks and I have done a video where I read book talk recommendations so those will all be in the cards and down below if you're interested. Let's get started. I've got my iPad here and I'm just going to get started. <laughs> so we have heart, salad, and nail polish as the first one. For these emojis, I'm recommending Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is the first book in the Once Upon a Con series. This is a geek Cinderella retelling and I'm recommending this because there is this vegan truck and I know that not all vegans eat salad but this is just the first thing that I thought of. This is a dual perspective following Elle who is a big fan of Starfield. Her dad has actually like created a con for it and she is just dealing with a lot from grief because her dad passed away and just dealing with a new family and just not being treated very well. And then we follow Darian who is a lead in the Starfield movie and they start talking over a wrong phone number. So there's a wrong phone number and they start talking and it is so magical and awesome. I really love this book and it reminded me of these emojis. So if you haven't started the series yet, I highly recommend to do so this year. Next, we got a green heart, a key, and like the devil. I don't know what emoji this is, but it's not its not a devil, but it's like the horny emoji. <laughs> this is the horny emoji. For these emojis, I have to recommend Her Night with Santa by Adriana Herrera. I read this in my video where I read queer romance novellas for 24 hours and this is everything. So I want to give a disclaimer that I am going to be talking all about uh, sexual content in this portion of the recommendation so you can just check my timestamps and move on to the next if you're not interested in this. But for those who are, this is set in a universe where Santa is a woman. So this is featuring Christina Kringle on her day off after Christmas and she's going to her vacation spot to just relax when she encounters a, another woman named Farnaz and she actually runs her own adult sex toy shop. And so they both are like first meeting each other. They're super insta love, but it is so steamy. And as soon as I saw these emoji pairs, I knew I had to recommend this one, mainly because the key really comes in in this story because both of them have a key to this house. They don't know that they're staying there until they meet each other and fall in love and have some good sexy time. I really enjoyed this and I highly recommend it. Now we have the curious face. I don't know what that middle face is. It's like I use that sometimes when I'm kind of like annoyed. And then we have water. You would think that it's a little uh risque I guess you could say but I think looking at this literally I'm going to recommend the graphic novel The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. This is about a girl named Morgan. She's 15 and it is about her wanting to hide her sexuality. She's into girls and she wants to hide that part of herself due to just everything going on in her life. She's dealing with her parents' divorce and there is just a lot going on in her life and she doesn't feel confident to come out. And then she meets Kelty who is a selkie and she lives in the water but they kiss and she has to stay on land. So if you like aquamarine, I would highly recommend to pick this up. It gave me so much aquamarine vibes and this emoji set just relates back to the book. We have just a lot of curiosity, a lot of like annoyance, and a lot of water. <laughs> so 
I got a smiley face, a fairy, and someone meditating. For this emoji set, I am recommending Little Universes by Heather Demetrios. I have not recommended this in such a long time, but it is one of my favorite books. And when I saw the meditation emoji, I knew I had to recommend this because it does focus heavily on meditation. There is a huge trigger warning for drug addiction and overdose. And I just really love this book because it is about two sisters and it is also about science. So I guess that's where the fairy emoji could come in. What I really loved about this book is that we have cis guys who wear makeup and that was really awesome. It is all about family. It is featuring these two sisters who lose their parents to a tsunami in Malaysia and it is just all about grief. It is about drug addiction and I love this book so much. I think it was very well done. If you're looking for a book where characters practice meditating, I would highly recommend this book but do look out for the trigger warnings because it is a very heavy read. Okay, let's go again. Okay, now this one I can do. Lipstick, book stack, this face like i don't know what that even means but it's like secretive for this emoji set i have to recommend my sister the serial killer by ein queen braithwaite it is following a girl named karide her sister aola is killing off her boyfriends and she keeps calling her to pick up the pieces and it is a thriller it is weird but it is a good read i enjoyed when i read it and I would recommend it here. Aeola is a catch. Everyone is swooning over her, but they don't know her secret that she kills all of her boyfriends. And so I thought this was perfect for this emoji set. So that was my first book recommendation video of the year. If you're new here, I have a whole playlist of book recommendations. So if you're looking for queer contemporary book recommendations, sometimes I recommend nonfiction and comics and graphic novels. Feel free to go and watch more if you're looking for some new reads. If you want to see more bookish things from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and I have my own podcast. It is called Reader Rambles where I ramble about bookish topics and I help readers navigate life. If you want to tune into that, there's a YouTube channel and I'm also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. That's it for me today. I will see you next time. Bye.